a special guest uh, for a photo interview, uh, Mohammed Hassan, <laughs> who lives in Nayland uh, yes. in Pembrokeshire and um, has recently graduated from the... Yes, two, uh, two years ago. Two years ago from years. the uh, Kamal 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 School of Arts. Uh, yeah. um, the obvious question, Mohammed, is why come to Wales? Uh, my wife Welsh. Ah. She's like half English, half Welsh. I'm doing like we met ten years ago, and we decided to come here. And she got family in London, so. But I think she's more Welsh, you know. Yeah. She's she's half half Welsh, half English, but she's more Welsh person. Uh, so a woman brought you to Wales then. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So where are you from originally? Uh, Egypt. Okay. And where in exactly in Egypt? Alexandria. And um, tell me a little bit, bit about your background. Okay, um, um, like um, I grew up, my dad like professional photographer. Uh, he, he was a really good photographer. I think he, he was like one of the best photographer in Egypt in that time. But he was uh, obsessed about photography, always in dark room, always uh, experiment, like doing new stuff. So like he don't have life. You know, like always, always, always in dark room, his hands in chemical, you know. So I think um, he got depression. Uh, he start like not talking to anyone. And um, uh, he tried to kill himself a few times. He died like 2007. And that time I met my wife and we moved here. Uh, did you go on with your father on shoots? Yeah, yeah. He's... I. I in that time, I didn't like, I, 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 I don't know, I'm not interested in photography, but I, um, I used to help him, assist in him. The best thing, best thing about him is like people person. He know how to, de to deal with people. Like when you see him on, on foot shoot, he's like dancing, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know, like he, and also like he photographed all the famous people in Egypt, all the artists, all the big names, and the, like, uh, I think it was too much fun to be around him. You know, like all, fam all famous people, rich people, or uh, musician liked him because his quality, his his work, is so good. But you know, like uh, yeah. something wrong with his, like I don't know. I, I think he's been 20, 20 years in an army, and uh, was big war between Egypt and Israel, yeah. and like I think he, uh, I think he developed like mental problem. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, my younger brother, he was interested in photography, but now he's a script writer. He's, um, he's, he's quite well known in Egypt now. He right. writes comedy and stuff. Right, okay. If you see him, like, he's not a funny guy, but he writes really, <laughs> really good stuff. When did you first start picking up a camera and thinking, I really want to be a photographer? Uh, when I came here, you know, like my English is so bad. It's still bad. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly <laughs> not. No. And so I used to work in McDonald's, I used to work in Lidl's, and, uh, and the one guy he said, I got iPhone 3, do you want to buy it? I said, yes, how much, and 100 pounds or something. And uh, I noticed it's got like a really nice camera, really nice camera, and I started taking because everything, I was photographing everything around me. Yeah. When I came here, when I, like 10 years ago, when I see the landscape, I don't know, like I shocked, like I felt like I'm, I'm inside dream, it's not, it's not real. Like, I feel like, you know, Alice in Wonderland, mm -hmm. you know, it's just like surreal. Like, I said, whoa, is that, like, um, like, I felt I'm inside movie or like inside, uh, I don't know. I was really nervous as well. Like, I can't sleep for one month. Like, I can't deal with all that green and <laughs> <laughs> sky and spirit. For me, like heaven, you know, yeah. because like Egypt, desert, uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> yellow sa sand, you know. So, I started taking a lot of pictures with the phone, yeah. and a lot of people said, ah, oh. uh, I started to put my, my work on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And people say, ah, oh, what camera I got? What, which lens you got? I said, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, somebody said, he, he got a really good eye. He, really got, he got a really good eye. Why? Uh, go study, go study uh, mm -hmm. uh, photography. So I went to Benbrookshire College, and uh, I think I, I used to go like one day, Wednesday, every Wednesday, for one hour or two hours. And uh, I liked it. I, I, I was still taking pictures with the phone. And I said, okay, I'll, um, I need to save some money to buy my, uh, my first camera. And I bought my first camera. And uh, uh, I, finished, I finished my class. And uh, 
I don't know, my, uh, my wife, she said, oh, why can't go study, uh, like, in proper university or something like that? So I found, um, um, uh, it's like, English classes, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, I used to go there, I uh, um, was like, was a group, like, Chinese, uh, uh, Indian, uh, Russian, and, like, all, like, different levels, mm -hmm. yeah, some, like, speak quite good English, some can speak any English, like the Chinese people was nothing, nothing, yeah, yeah. but nice people. And uh, and when I found the lady, she uh, teacher, she tutor, she told me, uh, uh, I told her, like, I really want to do a degree in photography. And she said, I don't think your English good. And I, I don't <laughs> she said, uh, it's impossible. So like, I, I said, oh, that's hurt, that's hurt me. I said, I'm not stupid, yeah. I'll do it. And I went for three years. I, um, I uh, like I go, uh, I show my work to to Robbie, Robbie Matthew, and Ian Davis here, uh, mm -hmm. tutors. And they said, "Ah, oh, you work good. Like we give you a place, you know." But like first two, week, two weeks or three weeks, I was really nervous because you know, like uh, uh, I don't know, like uh, I was really quiet person, so not talking, not talking much, and. Uh, and when I finished my degree, I, I got first class. Mm -hmm. I think I was only one uh, my work uh, exhibited in, in London in trajectory uh, in National Museum in Swansea, Whitehall, uh, admission gallery. So, so I think it was good. Like I think the best thing happened to me when I went to university when I when I started study. Right. How how did you find the course itself? Yeah, I shopped because you know in Egypt, like I done. I done like degree in oil and gas. <laughs> my mom and dad said, "Ah, you need to do it. It's good money, you know. Like you will, you make good money if you engineer in mm -hmm. Egypt. Make good money." And I don't like uh, chemicals and stuff. And uh, so I done it for five years. And, uh, but we, it's, like in Egypt, like it's, uh, you know, education. Sorry, rubbish, you know. So when 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 I when when I came here. I shocked, like you need research, you need to write essays, and you need to, to do work all the time. So I liked it. It was hard, it was, was intense for me, because you know my, my English, but like, uh, I enjoy it. I think I enjoy it. Did you have a, a specific direction when you went to college? Did you think, um, I, uh, because, uh, looking at your website, obviously portraiture is very important yeah. to you. But did you have a specific direction, or were you drawn into a specific way? Of I started. I started as landscape, um, you know, because when I came here, when I seen all that green water, sky, you know, mountains, I, and I started taking a lot of picture. Even like my first term in college, um, uh, is a gallery in Milford Haven. Mm -hmm. for me, like you say, oh, we like to work. Uh, do you want to exhibit with us? And like it was first term, <laughs> that I go exhibition in uh, in uh, in, uh, in waterfront oh, in yeah. Melford oh, Haven yeah, yeah. in water. Uh, it's nice, not nice gallery. And uh, but in third year, um, my tutors and he said, Ah, oh, Mo, what are you gonna do? With it? Like uh, you know, it's your last year. What are you gonna do? I said, Ah, oh, I'm gonna do landscape. I said, mm, I think landscape can be quite boring. <laughs> he doesn't like landscape, or he doesn't like landscape photographers. Yeah, right. and they said, ah, oh, pick something else, like, you know, and they said, okay, I was thinking about it. They said, no, pick something now. Uh, I said, portraits, I'll do, I'll do portrait, portraiture. And they said, did you ever take portraits before? <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> and they said, okay, that's trigger, a camera, studio, start, you know. I was like, every day, four hours, five hours, practice, 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 you know, yeah. moving the light, Try different lights, you know. Yeah. Photographing, photographing anyone I can see, you know. Yeah. And I used to work in Lidl's as well. Right. So I used to work on tell. I had like massive window like behind me, and you know all the customers come in. You can see like uh, I, I I don't know. I was scanning everything, but I'm looking at the people, and people think I'm crazy or like creepy, or, you know. <laughs> you know, like I'm I'm looking at the people. I said, ah, oh, yeah, he will make good portrait. Uh, he not, he not. You, you know what I mean. You know? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I start taking portraits of a lot of people. You know, but I always I pick uh, like um, if I see someone like with different features or like uh, I have 
have to be something about him, like maybe how he walk or how he talk or his personality. Mm -hmm. So, and I like photograph people never photographed before. Okay. I don't like photograph models or fashion like yeah, okay. it's fake for me. I don't know. <laughs> you know, and nothing wrong with fashion, but I just I don't like it. So. Um, one of the things I enjoy when I do portraits is that, um, and it's almost more important than the photograph, is the actual um, talking you do with, yes. with the people. Yeah. Do you find the same thing? What, the person I photograph? Yes. Um, I don't know, when I photograph someone, like sometimes you get someone really confident and he booze in too much, you know, and uh, you, you need to tr trick him, you know. I don't know, like ask him maybe stare at the lens yeah. or just close your eyes, open your eyes so you, you look fresh again. Or maybe I'll, I'll play like really classic music, like, you know, uh, Beethoven or something. So he, he calm down a little bit. Right. And sometimes, uh, like I prefer the person he never photographed for because he can do it. It's easy, like, he, you know, like he can do what you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and how long do you spend with uh, each client that you photograph? Hour, okay. hour. Because sometimes I get the picture I want in first shot. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I get like um, after like forty minutes. You know, yeah. depends uh, on the person. You know. Yes, and yeah. how much they can take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so sometimes like um, sometimes I I ask the people if you die tomorrow, if like if you got one, uh, if you is that if your last day tomorrow, what what first thing will jump in your mind? You know, he starts thinking and click, you know, like, yeah. I am, um, like, I try different methods, you know, <laughs> yeah. depends on the person. The, and, yeah. And, yeah. Shooting portraits exclusively in the studio, then? Like, two years ago, I was just doing studio, like, like, uh, artificial light, flash, and, mm -hmm. uh, um, but I don't know, I see it, uh, it, it, for me, it looks fake, whatever, like, if it's, like, good portraits, good lighting, good quality, mm. but it's uh, very staged. Like uh, boost, like you know. Yes. I said I wanna use like natural light. I wanna, you know, like uh, I think um, I don't know. I because two years ago I applied for Tira Wilson with my um, with my uh, study work, and uh, I didn't get selected. So I I said oh I need the uh, so I I've been studying the judge like what judge uh, mm. looking for mm. so. Uh, it's all always like natural light, maybe like film, medium format film. So I started mm. a change in my style. Mm -hmm. So like when I started with the studio work, but now more like um, more like natural light, or maybe uh, maybe really soft light. You don't know what, where where the light coming from. Yeah, it's really interesting looking at your uh, your website, and I understand exactly what you're saying about uh, those studio photographs. Mm. They're very clean. They're very precise, and they are, yeah, yeah. yeah. very clean, very yeah. precise, but yeah. very beautiful. Yeah. Um, there's no uh, compared to some it's, of the other work. Real. No, it's not real. No, it's yeah. not real. Yeah. Uh, but but still, you know, they would fit in a magazine beautifully. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now that you've kind of moved away from that a little bit, I think I was looking for something like more humanity in my in uh, my work. Yeah. You know, okay. like telling a story or like. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Or like uh, give give someone like voice, you know, like um, because that guy I, I photographed a Sudanese guy, you know, like mm. he was suffering from anxiety. Like Egyptian people ask him go back, where you come from, where you come from, right. and that happened to me when I'm here. Yeah. Uh, which be beautiful, nice, yeah. but you know, sometimes you get like people say asking you, oh, what are you doing here? Um, like uh, why why wells? Uh, why can't go back? I so one, one guy said well, uh, he was quite old man, but I, 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 I don't care. I, like, um, I don't hate anyone. I, I, no. I love everyone, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he said, "Oh, why? We just can go back to, to where you come from." And like, I used to spend a lot of time by myself, like in the house, like uh, maybe three, four days, just don't leave the house. Uh, all the time, and, uh, like just play with my dog, or study, or like research, or like. Mm -hmm. Just play with my camera, or, or you know. Mm. Um, so, in a perverse way, that 
depression you were feeling yeah, yeah. actually so made... I, was, I was looking for people who got similar yeah. suffering yeah yeah, you yeah, know? yeah yeah so the 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 picture where you refer to the Sudanese uh, guy yeah. um, uh, was that set up at all or was it just a shot that you felt that's... like we he was talking about like we uh, I think we went to the mountain that day and we climbed like five hours and we done like nice sunset sketcher uh, mm -hmm. and when we went back we went back and he was talking about his family his mom and dad died a long time ago same and he was uh, he was uh, he was telling me about uh, egyptian not kind or not nice to him and uh, we start talking to each other and like he was sitting in the room and i told him ah oh, i want i want to take a portrait of you and uh, i think it was like uh, dusk you know and i said ah oh, let me take the picture so we uh, I think maybe like half set up, it's not like... <laughs> no, no, I understand in, in completely. In, yeah. Just I, I bought him in direction. Yeah, yeah. I've had a, exactly the same mm. um, experience as you. There was a guy I met, um, I was actually, it was an, I was staying in an Airbnb in North Wales and they mm. were really uh, lovely people. And there was, he was a really interesting guy and uh, he was interested in the fact that I was a photographer. But he didn't really want to have his photograph yeah. taken. But it was as the evening progressed yeah. and we talked more, he kind of relaxed into it and mm. I had my camera and I took a photograph, you know, and uh, it's those moments that actually make uh, the difference, I think, between sort of mediocrity yeah. and something being of value and yeah. saying something yeah. about that person. Yeah. It's getting inside their head in a way, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, leaving college um, and starting being a photographer yeah. yeah I don't know I'm struggling a little bit because you know it's hard to make a living from like the, around here is might be hard a little bit yeah I think if you live in big and if you live in city like I yeah. don't know Bristol or London yeah. Birmingham yeah maybe you can make more money yeah so I still work like part-time yeah day. are you tempted to go to a big city um, like, I think I, w I love to, uh, I love Wales, you know, like, uh, mm. you know, but I, I work between here and Cairo, because when I go back to Cairo, like, I do a lot of workshop, show people how to use uh, camera, digital, analog, mm -hmm. lighting, uh, so I do workshop over there. Mm. How often do you go back? Every year, year and a half. Okay. Yeah. And how long do you spend there? A month, one month. Okay. One month. Yeah. Uh, there's um, now that we're talking about going back to Cairo, um, I'll just pop this up on the on the web. Um, it's um, it's easy to see when a photographer has a connection with a place and people. Okay. And I think this series, which is, uh, can you tell me where these that's, photographs? That's first two was Morocco, not not Morocco, Asia. Morocco, not Morocco. Asia. Morocco, right? Okay. I uh, I got selected for. Um, uh, portrait competition mm -hmm. and like uh, I was invited in Shakshawan, the blue city, mm -hmm. everything in blue and it's beautiful, mm -hmm. Be like beautiful place and uh, like I never, I never photographed people in, in the street, you know, like I'm always in the studio yeah. and when, uh, when I don't know, when I seen all these colors, people moving, like I feel like, you know, like <laughs> I feel mad, like just taking pictures of, uh, of right, like, okay. But I, um, I mean, I, I, there's one particular picture which I love actually. There's a picture of a woman um, uh, in the blue city and she's wearing this white. Uh, and uh, did you speak to her at all? Yeah, like, you know, like, um, I, you can still speak Arabic. Yes. I, I don't know, like, is, she's always speaking French to me. Like, I do not <laughs> speak, I can't speak any French. Like, so. I said, okay, uh, we'll close your eyes and open again. And I, I took, I took the picture when her eyes shut and yeah. open. But I think uh, this one works more. This one, she, yeah. she looks more like I don't know, um, something special about. Uh, uh, so, uh, but it's obvious that you, the, the the joy that comes out from this series yeah. photo from from Morocco yeah. is just something else. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, and I can feel you smiling somehow behind yeah. the camera. Yeah. Um, and 
Was it because it was a new experience for you? Yes, that, because with new experience, I, I always in always in studio, or like you know, um, yeah. always like lighting, you know, yeah. heavy light and yeah, stuff. Yeah. But here, like he felt like I was just what you need, like small camera, and you, you need to be nice to people, and you know, like, yeah. just a bit confident, and uh, yeah. you know, because uh, a lot of people say, "Oh no, go away, don't, don't take my picture," or go like that, you know, like yeah, yeah, stop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She was nice. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. How do you how do you respond to people who put their hand up and say no, no picture? Uh, I, res I, I respect just them. Respect just it. go. Yeah, yeah. Just I go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> I like. Um, um, I liked it. I liked everything about Morocco except like everyone like got um, like drugs, hashish, and offer me. <sighs> say that. Uh, um, say try it. Right? I said no. I'm okay. I'm, I don't do. I don't do drugs. But like everyone like. Sit and smoking, yeah. Like you know, you feel like you're in Amsterdam, <laughs> you're in Holland, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And food was nice, but like, um, you all like if you ask for chicken, yeah, put a lot of honey on top, ah. and I don't like that, you know, like I don't like, uh, I don't like sweets on, <laughs> yeah, yeah, on my food, so. yeah. <laughs> Is it an ambition of yours to be a travel photographer? Like, one of my dreams to do Africa, like to go start to Egypt, Sudan, and maybe like Rwanda or, or Ethiopia, and photographing the people, photographing the landscape. Yeah. And uh, so, like, uh, maybe in future, if I go like Grant or something, yeah. so like I start, I start from my city, Alexandria, Cairo, and uh, yeah. you know, Nile, yeah. and follow the Nile till yeah. maybe. Rwanda so photograph all the people, photograph the landscape, and maybe if I got a lot of work, enough work, I make it into book. A yeah. book, yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, from um, uh, the perspective of uh, being a photographer and living in West Wales, mm. how do you do? You send your photographs to um, agencies, or do you send them to uh, to pe people like Lonely Planet? Do you? Sell yourself self like that? I'm really bad with that. I'm not good. I'm uh, like, I don't know. Um, I'm trying, but I'm just. Uh, I tried a few times, but I'm not good like selling my work or like showing my work or talking about my work. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing very yeah. well about talking yeah. about your work. Yeah. Uh, do you think, uh, let's go back, let's take a jump back then. Okay. Do they do enough uh, talking in college about how you pursue your? Um, a life as a photographer because obviously yes, they, yes, they, yes. they thought you were uh, very good they wouldn't have given you a first in yeah, photography yeah, yeah. and you know by m me looking at your work I know you're a very very good photographer oh, thank you <laughs> but um, did they was there enough emphasis put on right you're going out into the big wide world now mm. um, and you need to be able to do these things one two three four in order to be what you want to be as a photographer. Do you think enough was done in that respect? Yeah, I think done enough, but I'm not good. Like <laughs> personally, yes. like I'm not good okay. like selling my work or okay. like uh, I don't know, um, um, as, like um, contact with magazine and stuff. I should do more. I should, yeah. but like I sell my work in um, in galleries. Like I'm okay. a member of King Street Gallery. All right, okay. I'm, I'm youngest one. Thanks, remember? <laughs> right. yeah, oh, the King Street Gallery King in, in, in Kamazin. Yeah. And uh, I think we 25 or 26 artists right, work okay. together. Right. I'm only one photographer. Right. It's all like ceramics or, yeah, yeah. or painters or sculpture. But all really good, all like established, all like got big names. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Do, uh, do you think it would be um, a good idea? This is, I'm throwing mm. something off mm. the top of my head mm. towards you. Do you think it would be a good idea to have a photographic gallery in Pembrokeshire? Well, my own. Uh, your own or a, uh, a yes, group of, a yes, cooperative yes, of photographers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think if I got a big house, like, I'll convert it like, to a big, uh, like, you know, exhibition, you know, yeah, like yeah. just find talent people, like yeah. emerging talent, and yes. like we exhibit all, every month or every two months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so what does the future hold for you? Uh, uh, I really like to, um, to win that one, <laughs> Tira <laughs> Wesson. I'll try again because <laughs> I was close. I think I was close. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm uh, not um, a little cynical about yeah. Taylor Wesson, yeah. but I mean the cost 
of actually sending, sending. is really high. Yeah. I mean, um, and uh, you must bear that in mind when you're sending. I mean, how many pictures did you send to take? I sent three. Three, and it was like, expensive to send the three yeah. photographs. Yeah. I, mean, uh, <laughs> I was like, just I see, oh, which one to choose, which one to choose. Right, it was okay. hard yeah. to pick. Uh, yeah. To uh, have you had any feedback from uh, the picture? Uh, this of the Sudanese guy, um, from the guy from the yes, uh, oh, from art, from uh, from Taylor Wessing itself. No, from the art, uh, his art critique or art critical is yeah. is quite a big name. His name Matthew Colin. He done a lot of stuff for right. BBC and okay. stuff. And he write really nice stuff about my picture. Like um, right, okay, I was really happy. Right, but you know, like always, always I get inspired. Not, not, not from. Uh, Photographers or like watching other photographer work, I get inspired from like sculpture or uh, mm. or like painters or you know like I watch a lot of stuff about modern art, contemporary art. Okay. When I go London, like you know, I live in Tate Modern, <laughs> Tate yeah. Britain and Tate Modern. Like yeah. you know, like I can spend five six hours. It's okay. Like, uh, so what 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 do you find inspiring about looking at painters' work? Because it's more like viewer work, you know, like here. Yeah, you know, maybe I can, I, I think, um, like, I, not copying, like, uh, if I see something, colours, colour palette, or, yeah. or, you know, strong composition, like, you know, yeah, yeah. like, I try to, to do it in my work, and, you know, uh -huh. I get inspired by painting, or, yeah. so, yeah. like, my favourite artist, not, maybe not photographers, is, not, is a painter. Right, know, okay. Okay. well, does anybody stand out in your mind in particular? Uh, Francis, uh, Francis, Francis Bacon, Bacon yeah. uh, David Hutton, okay. uh, Lucien Freud. Oh, yeah. Lucien Freud is good. Photographers, maybe Irving Penn. Yeah, yeah. American. And, uh, Irving Penn had uh, this wonderful um, yeah. way of putting people into corners. Yes, the corners. Yeah, yes, and like I find that fascinating, yeah. you know. He photographed everyone in the yeah. corner. Uh, yeah. And, and, I, and yeah. everyone, yeah. And what I like about Hockney, uh, because Hockney is this like the splash and yeah. yeah. Um, but his um, he he is not at all um, prudish, is the word I think mm. uh, about photography. He's used photography yeah, he used himself. Photog he used yeah. photography. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, it's very very interesting because I I, I glean a lot from um, from artists, you know. And looking at artists' work and how they uh, and how they use color is just uh, yes. is fascinating. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's actually drawn me to wanting to paint. Yeah, I like the analog colors. You know, yeah. like it's not it's not really. You can see like it's more like um, muted. That's yeah. what I like. You know, not, not really strong colors. Yeah, not, yeah. You know, so like more muted colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fascinating. I'm glad I've met uh, an, a fellow photographer <laughs> who is mad about art as well. Fantastic. And you were telling me earlier, um, when we were coming here, um, that you do courses for people, that you um, uh, and that you're about to embark on one in London, yes? Yeah, I, uh, um, I got commissioned by uh, National Portrait Gallery to uh -huh. do like weekend workshop. Mm -hmm. So showing people how to use cameras, how mm -hmm. to use uh, lighting mm -hmm. for two days. Mm -hmm. So, do you see yourself being a teacher? When you do workshop, is good money, you know. <laughs> 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 but, um, not really, no. Uh, okay. no yeah. I, I don't have that much patience, you know. Right. You know. Okay. Um, I like what I like to do in future. I. Um, you know about art theory and movements, and I love that. You know, like mm. you know, always I'm reading about um, art movement, uh, mm. different artists. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, you know, I like the art side. So, because when I started in college, like I thought the uh, tutor would teach me how to use camera, how to use lighting, how to use everything, and it was like first three months or four months, like just. Uh, Picasso, Van Gogh, Tracy Emin, you know, and I said, whoa, like, uh, why am I being that, I, uh, like, I'm being a lot of money, and it's all about art theory, uh, you know, it's no, it's no technical side, so, like, I was fed up, really, yeah. but now I understand, uh, like, uh, I was doing the right thing, you know, like, learn about art, yeah. not, not, not just uh, how to use a flash or how to use uh, a camera. Right. 
Have you ever thought about self-publishing work at all? Uh, like um, a book or something? Well, yeah. Or I think I, I got some landscape work, but I think I don't have enough. You know, like maybe in one year from now, yeah. I will have like, I have like uh, enough work to do a book. Yeah. Uh, and it's really interesting because looking at your landscape work and the way you you look at the landscape of Wales mm. is very specific. Because from like sometimes like you when you're from outside, because if you go Egypt, if you uh, if we go Egypt, you will have different eye to anyone, you know. Yeah. So like uh, because I'm, I'm outsider, so I see stuff maybe different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah fascinating stuff. And uh, uh, sorry. Before, like I used like uh, you know like sunset and uh, like you know like sunrise and I don't like this. I like now misty raining like you know yeah. like you know like really rough you know yeah yeah I like the really rough because this time of year from now yeah. until uh, maybe April yeah. uh, is the best time. Before I used to, I used to like romantic you know sunset and like everything looks perfect and not anymore like, not anymore. So, are you still working with film as well? Um, uh, I got a few uh, film cameras. Right. Like, you know, the cost, yeah, you know, yeah. like to buy film and develop your... But I'm happy with, uh, with my Pentax. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's a good camera. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, climbing mountains with that would, is hard work. Uh, last time I, uh, I took this one and I took Pentax 6-7. Right. And both like on my neck. When I come, <laughs> when I come home, I got problem with my... Uh, oh, really? Uh, for two days, like, no. Like not, not able to move it, you know, because like two heavy medium format cameras on me. Yeah. Um, so um, when you get home, yeah. load your um, uh, your pictures yeah. uh, um, onto your Mac. Yeah. Um, uh, how much work do you do on them afterwards? Uh, how much I need, post? I need, I need to get right in the camera. If if it doesn't look right, I don't touch it. I, you know, like okay. if, if the picture, like something wrong with the picture. I said no, like uh, I don't need to retouch it because it's still whatever you do, it's still something. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? Even if you if you don't magic, if you're really good with Photoshop, yes, it still it will be a problem. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And 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 before, like uh, you know, every picture I used to uh, I used to look at at the screen. Yeah. Not anymore now. Like you know, like yeah. I take the picture and I yeah. I don't care when I go home. I'll see what I <laughs> yeah. I done. Just yeah. a focus on on the moment or the light because you know landscape. You need to chase the light. Yes. You know, like you um, need to be patient. I'm not patient. <laughs> I, I I should use tripod. I uh, <laughs> always like I don't know. More Cow more cowboy. <laughs> cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> more equipment to carry around. Yeah, yeah but it's heavy. Like to go mountain. Yeah. If you if you do like Brecon or like Sinodonia, like yeah, yeah. it's hard to carry like. Uh, a heavy tripod, you know. Right. It would be really interesting to see um, how you're working, uh, because obviously when you're on your days off, mm. when you're working, you go out and you shoot. Yeah. Um, uh, do you shoot every day? If I can. If I, if I can, I'll shoot every day. <laughs> <laughs> it would be really interesting yeah. to see your perspective. Um, I've seen some of it on, on your website, but really interesting to see your perspective of Wales mm. and its people, really, because... Yeah. Uh, that would inform people like myself. Yeah. Um, and uh, um, I think photography really is about informing people about the way things look and the, uh, the way people are. Yeah. Last year I went, uh, I went to Egypt and uh, I took Welsh landscape Cairo <sighs> and I had exhibition. Oh, all right. Okay. Even, even Art Council Wales held me oh. for the ticket to buy the ticket to, oh. to go to Egypt. Okay. Helped me with a bit of money, yeah. and it was really good. And people loved the will, loved the, the Welsh landscape, and thinking like uh, it's heaven, it's beautiful, like you know. And I sold some work as well, like Egyptian. <laughs> yeah, I think it's you know like because everyone loves well, you know, no one got problem with Wales, you know, like if you if you say England or America, <laughs> you say, uh, but well, uh, you know, no one got problem with Wales. So no. I think uh, everyone likes. Wales or like Welsh people. Right, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do know what you mean. Yeah, it's, it's, it's astonishing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, Wales don't have problem with anyone. No. No, no that's, uh, that's, uh, that's really interesting. Do you miss home? Do you miss 
I I don't know where I like I don't know shots like I'm I'm thinking all the time like where my home like when you know like when I live here when I'm, when I'm here some people say oh it's not uh, it's, you're not from here you foreign like you know like here uh, you don't speak like us so you know <laughs> and when I go back to Egypt you know I feel I'm I'm home now and people say oh you're Arabic funny now you're not one of us here <laughs> so like you feel like here is like I don't know you feel like no home always you know like when you go back. People uh, like treat me like I'm, I'm, I'm not Egyptian anymore. Okay. He said, "Ah, oh, you look more European. You wear like European clothes." And when I'm here, ah, you know, you're Egyptian. <laughs> so you, I don't know where where is the home. <laughs> but you're happy here. I'm happy. Yeah. You know, like I'm just happy when like sit sit in the house, play with dogs, yeah. going with dog, like taking picture, take my dogs with me. And, uh, yeah. Have you any projects in your head at the moment that you you want to tackle? Uh, I think like more landscape work. But I wanna I wanna use tripod. I wanna use maybe use film. Mm -hmm. I wanna like use bigger format and like take my time. Like you know like uh, plan it. Or I'm not organized. Just I you know like just I pick my camera and go. I should like plan it more. Yeah. And my I, I like to do like. Um, more portraits work, you know, like maybe some studio, some natu natural light. Yeah. Oh, are you attracted to commercial work at all? I do. <laughs> I, I like to do commercial work, but it's hard to find, you know, where I live in Nayland, you know. Yeah. Who would give you commission <laughs> around here, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, Sometimes you get wet to do wedding and stuff, yeah. like, you know. Uh, do, you enjoy, I don't, I don't know. do you enjoy weddings? Not really. No, I don't <laughs> like it, but uh, you know, it's good money, and uh, and uh, my work is, it's quite good. like I don't have few weddings, and this uh, yeah, yeah, people yeah. happy with uh, yeah, yeah. with my work, but not what I want to do in future. No, you know, like I think in future maybe I got my own studio, my own exhibition, uh, my own gallery. And, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, think, uh, that would not, be not 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 wedding photographer, you know? <laughs> and it's like hard job, you know. Yes. You know, if uh, if he miss, uh, I, I don't know if like oh. Kesha doesn't look good or. Uh, I've only done four uh, weddings, and yeah. they were for friends, and that was a mistake. Yeah. Uh, because there's you pressure. Get a lot of hassles. You, you get, get a lot of hassles. hassles. Yeah, you know. Uh, because where's this picture? Where's that picture? Yeah, the people's expectations are very strange. Very high. And very high. Yeah. Um, and uh, although you explain to them what you do and show them work mm. that you do. And they say, yes, we, that's the stuff we want. Mm. They always change their minds. Yes, yes, yeah. And they want to have these group shots. And, yeah. yeah. And I like and to you need do to be really, with group shots, like, you need to be really good with people, like, really confident, really loud. To, yeah, yeah. You know? And you almost need an assistant with you as yeah, well, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, it's a hard job. If I think, uh, yeah, I'd like to do more wedding, but it's not my thing. No. If I asked you, I mean, this is a very sort of cheesy mm. question mm. to ask you. Uh, but is there anywhere specific in Wales where you thought this is a really special place and I enjoy being here mm. taking photographs? Uh, I think uh, Mal, 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 Mal Rocks. Yeah. yeah, I feel like uh, like out of this world. You know, like yeah. um, I forget everything. I forget my, even my name. You know, like. Flying, yeah. yes. Malo Sands and the the structure of the rocks yeah, there yeah, is just yeah. something else. Yeah, and uh, Lan. Lan, I photographed a lot in Lan. Yeah, Lan yeah I've done a lot of work in Lan. Breaking. Okay. Something magical but your, about uh, it. But your wife is from Lan, so. Uh, her, her mom and her uh, mom and yeah, I. Her uh, mom and uh, yeah, and uh, her sisters and. Uh, yeah. It's a strange little town, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but something, something beautiful about that place. Um, yeah. And uh, you know the Dylan Thomas connection. Yeah, yeah. I photographed his. Uh, oh, yes, shade, his shed, yes. Shade. And I sold that one. Someone bought it. Oh, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> really? So, so it was good. Uh, yeah. North Wales as well. Uh -huh. Like really beautiful. You know, it's the mountains. And, yeah. You know, sometimes I, I I go for six hours walks for six hours, and I like just uh, happy. You know, like I feel I feel like still fresh. You know, like. Uh, you know, like mountain. I think mountain and sea, my, my, my passion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can, uh, I can concur there. I think the, um, I, I have the same passions, really. Mm. Um, I suppose um, 
from um, a photographic point of view. I really admire your work. Oh, thank you. Um, and I think more people should see what you do. Mm. And um, you really should consider pushing yourself and marketing yourself mm. a little bit better. Something about me, I don't, I don't like, um, like uh, I'm never happy with my work. Well, I don't think any photographer yeah, is really. Like, you know, like I take pictures of people say, oh, that's perfect, that's good. And uh, I, straight away I can see the mistake and I say, ah, no, it's not good enough. And I, sometimes like, I'm, I'm scared to show my work to people. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I don't know, I'm always hard on myself. It's like, um, no, uh, mm. You need to chop that little bit. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, you know, yeah. you, uh, you, your work stands up as being very, very good. Yeah. I mean, I think when I selected you wouldn't you wouldn't have got a Taylor Wessing yeah, otherwise yeah. you know when I uh, when I finished my degree I, I got selected in uh, in uh, trajectory in Shoreditch Shoreditch yeah, yeah. and it uh, was five five photographers from five hundred like um, yeah. British photographers yeah. and it was just me I got degree and all got masters so like all like higher okay. so I was just like uh, yeah. I got degree and like. The other got like masters, yeah. so like I felt, yeah, uh, I should like believe a little bit about myself. Yeah, indeed you should. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been tempted to do a masters, or is that something that I don't think my my I English my that. English like <laughs> be good enough for masters, like too much writing and stuff. But uh, I I will I will like just to focus on my work, like on landscape, on portraits. Oh. I like documentary as well. Like um, uh, last two years, we've been photographing. Um, uh, uh, like uh, carnivals, I, I, I enjoy doing carnivals. I went round, um, what I did when I was filling with my book was I went round all the little county shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just, they're a joy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because... Because um, I've never seen anything like that in Egypt, you know, like people yeah. like dressing up and like yeah. you know, everyone happy drinking and, the, <laughs> you know, so... Yeah. What did was you make of it? What did you make of it? What was your, what were your thoughts? I feel like in the, in the movie, like, you know, comedy movie or like, you know, comic, <laughs> I, I, I don't know, like, uh, but just like everyone happy, you know, like, yes. you know. You've done a make you smile. Yeah, you've done a series as well with uh, men with really big knives and... Yeah, yeah, and that's the, was in Egypt. Yeah. I was trying to apply for um, uh, Magnum Foundation. Okay. And, uh, you know, like, with Magnum, you need to do documentary work. So I said, yeah. oh, I, uh, I'll big subject and I'll have a go. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and uh, I know guy. Um, he's like member of gang. Like his job, uh, not selling drugs. He protect people selling <laughs> drugs. <laughs> okay. yeah. And I told him I um, uh, I seen him and I told him, look, I know you. I uh, I know like uh, I heard about you. Can I take your portrait? And he didn't understand what I mean. I said, what's that mean? Uh, uh, I said, uh, can I take your picture? He said, yeah, do it now. Yeah, take it. I said, no, no, no. I'll, ca uh, I'll come over your house and uh, have tea and, and, uh, and take, I'll take the picture. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. come, uh, yeah, whatever. And uh, when I went there, when I went there, downstairs, like two dogs, like really, Oh, mad, you know, yeah. really, I don't know, I, I was scared to go up, you know, I was scared to, yeah. to go his flat, and uh, a lot of, a lot of people, like, uh, with knives, heavy tattoos, and, uh, yeah. and uh, I, I went inside, I said, I, I think I'm not, um, I think it will take, takes my camera, I think I'm, I'm going home with, <laughs> with our camera, I think I'll, uh, yeah, and uh, and I started taking pictures. I just, I talked to him, but you know, like I re I respect him. Like I respect him, and I think he respect me back. Mm. And I told him what you what you wanna do tonight. You wanna go for a drink or something? Mm. And we went to small like bar, you know, because in Egypt you're not allowed to drink. You know, it's, no, no, it's yeah, hard. Yeah, but yeah, we, yeah. I think he, he like he noticed like I'm like uh, I'm nice to him. Yeah, and I think I lost, um, I left my flash in his house. So I said, ah, oh, that flash gone now. And he phoned me, he said, ah, oh, you got, uh, you left flash. Uh, I'll bring it with you. I'll bring it. So I think uh, if you show him respect, yes, he respect you back. Yeah. Because 
here I, a lot of people like you know gypsy like yeah. not respecting gypsy and gypsy is people like yeah. you know attacking back yeah. but if you I, I got a lot of gypsy friends here mm. you know like when you nice to them uh, nice to you and protecting you and you know yeah. You know, it appears to me that you can you can put your hand to any sort of photography. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you're you're pretty rounded as a photographer. Yeah. You can do. I think the I studio. need. I need. I, I think I need to focus on my strengths. I don't need to jump from from documentary to portraits, mm. landscape. Okay. To, I think I will focus on in future. I'll focus on portraits and landscape. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know, maybe commercial work, I well, need to make well, money. <laughs> <laughs> but the documentary work is yeah, really... Documentary yeah, documentary work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, yes. you know when you do your stuff, do you keep notes and then do you, do you write a diary of what you do or...? or like, you know, like, my dream when I'm young, like, I want to be, the, like, director. Huh? So, like, I write, I, uh, like, I write, like, script or something, you know. Mm. I love to direct, uh, like, scene or something. Like, in, in future, like, I want to do, like, short movies or because me and between my me and my brother he can write the script and they can take a film it or you know right, okay. so I like the like, I like directing so do you see yourself going into work uh, in film more than stills I, I like to, I like to do some like directing yeah. di like yeah um, I don't know uh, I like stills I, I think uh, I prefer I prefer photography no <laughs> <laughs> yeah because lots of uh, great directors mm. actually started As doing uh, uh, yeah, stills. Like Stanley, yeah, Stanley, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and, you know, and, and uh, lots of directors still take photographs. You know, and uh, yeah, well, when, 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 well, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Good yeah. yeah. Work, yeah. 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 Um, well, I guess on that note, we'll draw the okay. conversation to an end. And okay. uh, thank I really you. enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. I, I hope it wasn't too hard for you. I know. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed it.